This is Sunday for crying out loud. What are you gonna do? Down! Stay down! Jacob, stay down! Stay right now, you're Stay down. Put your hands behind your back. Nope. Hey, get off Stay down. You too, honey. <laughs> Go on the ground. Shut it down! It's a bit on the stuff. Put the axe down! Put it down! Put it down! Put it down! This is my Put it down! What's up guys? I'm Patty Mayo. Welcome to the hunt and welcome to Southland Bounty Hunters Season 7. It's going to be an amazing season and to kick it off, we're giving 20% off on everything in the Patty Mayo store. So go to pattymayo.tv or click that link in the description. Use code MERCH20 to get 20% off anything in the store this entire week. Now we're going to give a shout out to all you fantastic people to keep this show going by buying merch. If you want a shout out, it's the merch for 20% off. Click that link in the description or go to pattymayo.tv. Giving a shout out to Jesse Barbuckle F-Bomb, Swarthy, Bonnie and Clyde, Diesel, Tyler, Big D Smith, Zach Terry, the Mad Russian Marshmallow, a three finger bandit, Hardcore Diaz, AKA Jake, Nicholas Brown, Timmy, Charlie Alvarez, Maddie R, Patty is the best. Tristan, AKA Puma. Wee Man's Ma. Pineapple Juice. Allison, 3756. Malaki, Waka Waka Waka. Silas, Adam Chutwind. Riley Doring. Kenna Ray Ray from Springfield, Illinois. I love you and Kayla, and we love you. And last but not least, Nick the Laser Duarte. Thank you guys for purchasing merch. We do appreciate it. You keep this show going. If you want some merch and a shout out at 20% off this week only, click that link in the description or go to pattymayo.tv. And now enjoy the first episode of season seven, Southland Bounty Hunters. We'll see you in two seconds. All right guys, so a few months ago, you may remember I apprehended Adam. Adam has since been cleared of his court case. All that business is done and over with, but what's not done and over with is his bond payment. He still has $2,500 remaining on his bond. So today, we're gonna take his car. We've given him the past 30 days to make payment. He has completely avoided the bail bonds and told him to go pound sand. So today, he's gonna be taking the heel toe express when I go grab his Prius. So while we got our tow guys up here, we're gonna go let them know uh, that we're all set to go. All right, looking for a white Prius about a quarter mile on the left-hand side. As soon as we get there, we'll just verify the VIN, and I'll let you know it's good to go to hook it up. Hook it up, and then uh, take off. You got it. Thanks, guys. All right, let's jump in. One of the things that I'm gonna do here, guys, when we pull up, I don't wanna do a ton of blurring, so I'm gonna put paper and tape over his plates, so that way I don't have to spend nine hours when I'm editing this video to blur out his plates. Where the hell's the VIN on this car? Where's the VIN on this car? Put the axe down! Put it down! Put it down! Get away! Put it down! This is my Put car. it down! Adam, put the f***ing rake down! You wanna go this way? We'll talk about it, but you can put the f***ing rake down! What? What's happening? Go ahead, hook, hook it up. Put the rake down, bro. Your car's being repossessed because you have $2,500 owed to the pawn company. You know it. You've been avoiding them. So we're taking your car as part of your collateral. No, you're not. You list it as collateral, you're it's not. our car. Put the act, put it down. Put the rake, put the rake down. Raked. Put the rake down. Hey guys, back up for a second until I get him secured here. Put the rake down. I will tase you. What do you think this is gonna do? Back up. Back up. Back up. 
back up. Go ahead, hook it up. Put it down, bro. Once again, you're gonna get smashed. Put the brick down. I'm done with this guy. Here's how we're gonna take this, bro. You're done. Hook it up. Hook it up. Go ahead. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. What? What I do? Battery. Put your hand behind your back. Stop. I didn't do anything. Damn it. You didn't learn the first time, bro? Don't go up against me. Where are the keys to the car? I don't know, you're gonna have to find them. Hey, how about right here? Not the Prius. Take take the Volvos. You put the Prius on your bonus as collateral. Take, it's my collateral now. Take, Here's take, what's going on. Relax. Take all, the, all of them. Okay, let me tell you what's going on, Adam. We're going to take this car. You have 15 days to make payment to the bond company. If you don't make payment within 15 days, this is going to go to auction. That makes sense to you? Is there anything in this car you want to take before they put it up? Yeah. Hold on. What else you get on you? Roll over. Roll on your side. Tuck your knees up. Roll on your knee. Nope. Tuck your knees up. Listen. Roll on your knees. What do you want to get out of here? Stand right, right here. Chair. Stand right here. What do you want? I want that chair. And that thing in the passenger seat. What's that? My weed. What about the discs? You want the discs? Yeah, the discs. What's in your trunk? Nothing I need right now. Nothing you need? Where's your girlfriend's bra? You need that? You think she wants it? She'll be back after this. It's her car. Oh, this is her car you put up? Well, it's both cars. Okay. It's mainly hers. So what do you want back here? You want her stuff or you want to leave it? What's this? Just leave it. Just leave it. Anything in here I need to know about? Any knives, needles? Why didn't you make your payment, Adam? Why bring it to this? I thought I had some more time. Your court case has been done for 60 days. We gave you the last 30 days as official notice we are going to repo this car. Then I come back out here. You threaten me with that rake and you're taking a swing at me? That's assault and battery right there. My Prius. Man. So you're going to get a charge for that if I decide to arrest you today. But my job is not to make your life more difficult. It's to make your life easier. Anything else you got in here you want to take? Nothing? I've asked you like five times. What's in those bags? Trash. Walk this side. Walk over here. Stay with me. Let me just make sure he has nothing in it and then we'll get it set up. You ready to go on it? Two bucks. I need that two bucks. You want that? You're going to need that for your next bond payment when you go to jail today. All set. Step over here. Sit on the step. Tell me why I shouldn't arrest you today. Well, you already taken my car. I mean, can't you just call it good at that? So last time I came and talked to you, we had this conversation about making things easier on yourself. I come out here, 
You really gonna hit me with a brick and throw a rake at me? You're trying to scare me. Just trying to scare you. That's my. That's my. That car. It's such good gas mileage, man. That's my pride and joy. Keys. Is this all you need to start it? Yeah. There you go. Look at that. We're we gonna put it in neutral for you, not drag it up on the flatbed. We're nice guys. This shit don't fly, bro. You know me longer than that, right? You sure you don't want? I did you right in that last one, did I not? How long did you spend in jail last time? Not long. How long? Not even a day. Not even a day. After all that. Not even a day. I came and got you right back out. Then I show up at your house. Wait, well, hey, for the past 30 days, you've been telling the bail bonds in a pound sand. Bro, now you want me to tell you personally, you're taking the Heel Toe Express on his behalf. Oh man, I, just, I could have a hard time, you know? How about a sorry? How about a sorry? I'm sorry. Can, can you unhook the car now? Oh, absolutely, we're not unhooking the car. The only thing that may come unhooked is you. I may decide not, I may decide not to charge you today. Just because it's your girlfriend's car and I like her, she's nice. And I think that you put her in a bad situation two times now, right? Two times. What's she gonna think about this when she gets home? Where's she at right now? She's at work. And I'm guessing you gotta go pick her up? Well, I can't now. That's damn right. What's, what's going to happen when she's sitting outside work and her boyfriend is supposed to come pick her up as he's sitting on his lazy at home while she's out working for some money and now we got this going on. Uber, I guess. Taxi. What are you going to do to get her car back? How much did you say it was? 2500 with interest and penalties. I think I got... It's not gonna cover it. Nine bucks, you gave me two. Yeah, so you get eleven dollars. It's not gonna cover it. Why shouldn't I take you to jail? I gotta get this car out. I gotta, I gotta go figure something out. I mean, have, have a little, uh, you know, decency, man. If I don't, if I don't arrest you today, are you gonna, you're gonna go make money to get this car out. How? Tell me how you're gonna make money to get this car out if I let you out. Well, I got a rake. Yeah. You know I got a rake. Yeah. I'll, st I'll start raking the neighbor's yard. I'll, I'll figure it out. The prettiest. This is what your bad decisions lead to. It seems like you have a repetitive behavior, a bad decision, which I'm really torn if I think you should go to jail right now or not. Especially with all that danger you just put everybody in. You put me in danger, yourself, these two tow truck drivers say bye 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 here she goes and that was even nice enough look I put little paper plate uh, paper, pieces of paper on your girlfriend's car so the cameras don't see it but maybe I should so some maybe some nice cop out there can run it and come steal her from you because she seems to put her neck out for you a lot she's a good girl she does a lot for me I like her, especially after last time dealing with you. So yours is going to go on. Stand up. Because we have a history together. I really don't believe you were going to hit me with that rake. I think you make dumb decisions and nah, nah, nah. Take this hand directly on top of your head. I just think you make some dumb decisions sometimes. You know what I mean? Uh, I was just angry. I understand. Listen, turn around. I'm cutting you a huge break. You did that to a cop, you know what happened to you? He'd let those prongs go on you, bro. If not the gun. Look at me, I'm talking to you. I'm cutting you a break here. And I expect for you to repay it to your girlfriend by getting her car out. You got 15 days before he sends that car to auction. Don't let it go to auction. Look at me when I'm talking to you. If it goes to auction, I'm gonna take this footage down to the judge. I'm gonna have you charged with assault and battery for that rake and that brick. You feel me? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Sorry. If that car goes to auction, you go to jail. That's how I want you to think about it. Okay. You got it? Got it. Get in the house, start looking for a job. Hit Craigslist. And say, what do we say? Thanks, Patty. You're welcome. All right, guys, so uh, 
Obviously, you know, we've dealt with him before. We took him to jail last time. Afterwards, I was a man of my word. I got him out a day later. Dealt with his girlfriend a couple times after that. They've had some relationship issues. And I've been dealing with her and dealing with him as well. They're not bad kids. He's a d Plain and simple. He's just stupid. The girl, she's with him for whatever reason she wants to be with him with, you know. We all, we all, we, we don't, we don't, we can't choose who we love. We just love who we love, right? So in order to give her a break, give him a break today too. He wasn't going to hit me with the rig. The kid's just stupid. Um, car's going to go down to the bail bondsman. He'll have 15 days before it goes to auction. Hopefully he'll be able to come with the money. And um, in any event, we'll do whatever we can to not let her keep suffering for his action. But at some time she's going to realize too, you hang around with this kind of crowd. This is, you know, the benefits you get. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Unfortunately, this is the game and that's the prize. So uh, remember, we catch a new fugitive and sometimes we repo their vehicles almost every single day. I'm Patty Mayo. We'll see you on the next one. Some people would say, Patty, you're too nice. Who says that? <laughs>